if you are using NeoFim with the LSP config plugin, then you know that it doesn't provide us a uniform way to actually install any of the LSP servers that are out there. So you need to use uh, the package manager of your operating system if it provides a binary for the server, or you uh, need to use another package manager like NPM uh, that also provides a lot of the servers uh, out there. Or sometimes you need to build from source. Now, even though there's nothing inherently wrong with this method, it would of course be much, much easier if we can just install uh, an LSP server through through the uh, through NeoVim itself. And that is what this plugin will do for us, the LSP installer plugin. Uh, this is a companion plugin for LSP config that really makes it easy for us to install and manage the servers on our system. Now if we scroll down, uh, they recommend that we set up our installed servers with uh, LSP installer directly instead of uh, LSP config because the, this plugin will make sure that it will inject any necessary properties before calling LSP config setup function for us. So what that means is that you can basically replace the uh, server setup that you had with LSP config with LSP installer. Now I I already have the plugin installed uh, for NeoVim. So I am just going to show you how you can configure everything. And it's pretty easy. Oh. LSP installer also comes with a, a user interface to install the servers, which I am going to show you quickly. LSP, you can uh, call it with the LSP install info command. And this is basically uh, a way to quickly install a server. Uh, for example, if I want the LSP server for uh, Lua, I can just hover over the server and then press I. And then it will start installing and installate uh, installing a server is actually pretty fast so that is pretty nice now installing a language server is of course not enough we still have to uh, set everything up so let's do that now this is the uh, config file where i previously had everything uh, set up for lsp config i only left in the uh, key bindings uh, because i still want to use those and then I require the LSP installer plugin instead of LSP config. So what we can do is uh, go to the wiki. If you yeah go to the wiki. And then go to advanced configuration. Now the setup that we need is what we can find here on this page. And it's almost identical to what you had earlier with LSP config. So you can uh, copy this part right here. So this is just the a list of servers that you want to have installed by default. So I can, for example, add DS server. Um, what else do I need? Emmet. And also the server for Lua, which is Suneco, Suneco LS. Uh, no, Lua, I mean. Suneco or Sun double check lsp install info some knuckle yeah that was correct and this will just uh, loop through the list and make sure that we uh, have the servers installed and then we actually need to uh, set up the servers and we can copy this part right here in this second snippet that they provide on the wiki page Uh, I am going to, so I am going to delete some stuff here that I don't need because uh, I am not making some uh, custom configurations to the servers that I need. So you can delete this part here and then change this to default ops, ops, I mean, and what else we need is yeah that should be it actually so if i reload this file you probably will see that it will start installing the servers yeah so now it's installing the servers you can actually run the uh, lsp install info 
So yeah, it didn't take a lot of time to install all of these servers, so that is pretty nice. And you can also see that the language server for Lua is already enabled. You can see it gives me some uh, uh, warnings here uh, through its diagnostic from LSP. I can also test uh, because I also installed Emmet. I can quickly check if that is installed correctly and is working. I can do it index.html and do html5. Yeah, so everything is working correctly here, so that is really nice. So that's how easy it is to install an LSP server with uh, this plugin. In case you do need to customize some of these server configurations, then you can follow the example that they have given here. Hopefully this video was insightful and helpful. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Uh, just comment whatever you want, a feedback or just some thoughts. And also don't forget to subscribe.